Yeah, thanks for coming along, bro. Still don't quite know of the mentality of brutal destruction. Why cut these trees down for predominantly wood chip and pulp? It's nonsensical. You're still positive, dude. You're still because you could be a real you could be a real grouchy bastard this morning, but you're not. This is good. Could be a real shit show, man. I mean, we could just walk today. <laughs> no, we're not walking. <laughs> you haven't got out in this, this elite local runner to walk. <laughs> that's sorry. That's true. Yeah, thanks for coming along, Bo. It's great to have you here. You know, I'm very much looking forward to um, you and I, you know, I don't want to, like, it, it sounds bad to say that you're just one large entertaining distraction today, but I'm very much looking forward to your um, distracting entertainment. And there's nothing wrong with me being a distraction, mate. I think that's exactly why I'm here. Momentous part of the day, Madge, bloody entering the real bush again, rather than just the, the fringes of town. Yes. Good air, good damp air. Oh, and look at this, we've got our first bit of single track of the day. Oh, here we go. Boom. Oh. So my name's Nick Fox. I've been living in Warburton for 23 years. I love my community. So this is uh, just out from Big Pats Creek, about six k's out of Warburton. Uh, what we're looking at here is a uh, uh, area that has been cleared by the state sanctioned Vic Forest Logging Agency. We know what the science is saying, and it's saying that once these forests are cleared, they're, they're dried out, all the new plants, the regeneration needs a lot more water. For the first four decades are much more flammable. After the fires in 2019 and 20, which are known as Black Summer, and we lost millions of hectares of forest and billions of animals, they continued logging here and then closer to our communities. There was like no respite and I've just went, this is it. This is, this is going too far. We have to realize that logging so close to communities is of such a detriment in the decades to come. We have to stop this. And so at that point, decided to put everything I could into making some noise about stopping the logging around our communities. And, and since then I've become passionate about stopping logging everywhere. <laughs> it's not just around communities. Why cut these trees down for predominantly wood chip and pulp? That is what's happening at a loss to Victorian taxpayers. It's nonsensical. Let's talk numbers because any argument about either logging this bush or not comes down to the economy of the forest. We'll talk about the forest as a cake because who doesn't like cake? When a forest cake is logged, 60% of its biomass, that's everything that's there before the machinery arrives, remains in the bush. Half of that then goes up in smoke when it's burned to accelerate the decomposition of the harvest site. 40% of our cake leaves the forest as logs. Three quarters of those logs goes to the paper and pulp stream, a third of which goes to waste. The remaining 11% chunk of forest cake, which are the best logs on offer, go into the sawn timber stream. Lo and behold, 60% of this chunk goes to waste. Of the 4% of delicious, high quality cake that's left, 2% of this goes into fine timber products like staircases and windows. 
The remaining 2% are used for pellets and short-term timber products that typically have a shelf life of six months. I'm not sure about you, but if I had a party and only ended up eating 2% of my cake, I'd be mighty pissed off. Look at that tree! Holy moly! What a bloody environment! We're just approaching the Little Ada River through this ferny goodness. How you going there, brother? Very good, sir. Very good. Madge is, um, there's no kryptonite in the boy's uh, bag yet, so that's good. He's bloody kicking butt. Here it is, a lovely little Ada. Can you feel all the... So you've done almost 30 k's today. 110, plus what did you do on the first day? 70? 65? Yeah. So you, you, you're fast approaching 200 k's, mate. So can you feel it in the river? <laughs> yeah. Got a few leeches on my shoe. Oh, I think so. oh yeah, good point. I don't mind them on the extremities, legs and arms, makes for a good bit of theatre. But when you have one in your ear or in your bloody undies or under your arm, you think, you know what, that's just a bit personal, you bastard. Yeah, Get out of there. Yeah, that's, that's taking up residency. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I want to find a moist little place that's like a river bend. <laughs> and that's where I'm living. Oh, the big tree, the big tree. Yeah, isn't it just magic? What a grand dame. That thing is estimated to be like three or four hundred years old. Three hundred something, I think, yeah. That's just... Well, the size probably saved this. This was just too big to tackle. Let's leave it there. Mate, I don't know how you, how you manage with that beer. No, it's going, mate. It's just it's a monster at the moment. Oh. If you clipped it every now and again. True. Oh, I... Yeah, it's happening this way. Just razzed, eh? Uh, so just a couple of weeks have just gone boom. With a dozer and skitters, they just go for it. Yeah. It is just carnage. I still don't quite know of the mentality of brutal destruction. Most of what you can see has been logged at some stage, if not all of it, other than the creek lines. I don't know. This is what it's all about, isn't it? This is the great forest debate. It's a historic industry that's, that's been going on like this for a long time. There's a lot of good people that work in this industry too. So it's about, it's about transitioning them and getting them, it's, I don't know, how, we've got to get the loggers on side, mate. We've got to give them an option. It's hard, right? Because we're just a couple of white boys running through saying, shit, we should stop logging here. But I don't know, offer up some solutions, white boys. Yeah, you bloody running punks. Yeah. Anyway, mate, I'm, I'm sympathetic to, to how we transition from this to because we, we've got to look after the loggers but we've got to we've got to look after the air we've got to look after the our lungs dude i know that there's another logging coop about to happen and that's where my interest now lies because that's where death and destruction is about to just be A long way to go. Interesting to see 
I don't force. Taking diamonds and turning them into coal. Seriously. That's what it is. Oh, the stream water. I'm gonna get joking again. 